Well, you read the title. Today I'm gonna be trying to show off how strong the Emperor really is, do an Emperor showcase. Well, the first order of business is to look at what the Emperor can do. Look at all his stats. His skill increases his own arts by 30, and when he isn't in status ailment, 20 more, so a total of 50. His arts increases everyone's status by 30%, and reduces the enemy's physical resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. And his true arts does 67,000 percent light damage physical and cost 10 percent of his max hp and auto fills everyone's our stage by six for 15 seconds and depending on where he is within the party he will have like certain passives so the first one skylight when this is used damage to the gods 150 percent up and everyone's accuracy is 30 percent up next one terra master damage to humans 150 percent up and the damage allies take is 20 percent down and the last one dark bringer damage to demons 150% up and everyone's attack 50% up and that goes from left to right so if he's all the way at the left like he is now he'll be using skylight if he's one to the right he'll be using terra master and if he's in the second to last position he'll be using dark bringer and then if he's in gerald spot the last place he'll be using all three of them in a rotation i almost always forget to do this but let's take a look at the emperor's animations and i actually actually turned on the sound for this so we can kind of hear his voice. First one, attack. Huh? Kind of interesting. So good, honey. And I really want to turn this down. But yeah, you attack. Can. His skill. So, All three can. of his swords. Nice. His arts. Uh, it's pretty crazy. And his true arts. This better be crazy. Better be insane. Wise unto skylighter. Now the question is, will I be able to nuke the boss, Redacne? I have a feeling I'll be able to, but you really never know. Alright, we're at the final stage. Redacne, prepare yourself. Here we go. Emperor, show me just what you're made of. Draken, you'll help out too. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, we're so close. Maybe if I had a uh, Gerald Shuart up, then I could have nuked it. Oh, Emperor died. Maybe if I I could use Emperor's normal art and, you know, that'll, what is it, increase everyone's status by 30%. Yeah, and also, I could do that for the boss, for Redacne, because his art reduces physical resistance resistance and that will stack with Draken's true art. You really got to think outside the box here and wait a minute I just realized I won't be able to use Gerald's true art or whatever but I guess I could do this. This isn't so bad and all right I think that should be enough damage or enough buffs and stuff to nuke the nuke this boss and yep there we go. Just had to be a little bit smart and yeah I got it. All right well we took a look at how Emperor does when he's nuking and he's a very good nuclear does a lot of damage and if you pair him up with units like draken he'll be just as amazing to look at how i guess good he is in sustain i'm gonna be using a kind of an insane team for light units and i'm gonna turn my volume off all right we are at the last stage and this is gonna be how it's gonna be when you're not really going to nuke with the emperor because i know not everyone has the best equips or the best units for nuking i mean this team still is pretty crazy but yeah when you're not really looking to nuke this is what it's gonna be like and now i use some equips i should save draken draken's art yeah a lot of damage just what I expect from my man Emperor. Redacne, go invincible. Nice, nice, nice. I got everyone using their true arts, so this is what it's like when we have a whole bunch of buffs on Emperor, and Emperor was doing like 100k. Crazy. But yeah, in the Crest Palace, Emperor works pretty well. Uh, maybe it's just because I have a lot of units, and also a lot of good units, but here, I'll show you guys what it's like when you take him up against a current event. The last Phantom Sniper uh, episode it's pretty crazy to me because when I started getting into GS, pretty sure it was around the time Miranda came out, or maybe it was a little bit before or after. But yeah, let's hope this guy doesn't have iframes, which is my one weakness in GS. But yeah, 185k, I think I saw. All right, the last thing I want to do is the train, the takedown battle. Yeah, I've done this before. Let's see what my best time is. My best time is one minute, three seconds with a kind of a weird team, a more 
magic oriented team. So let's see if I'm able to beat that. The last time I did a showcase, it was of Draken, and yeah, I was talking about how good it will be to have Emperor. Now that I have Emperor, this might be a crazy uh, team. It might do a lot of damage, because each of these units is a very good physical attacker. I need to be fast about this, though, and maybe I shouldn't have used the Starf thing. I might not have been good. Yeah, I guess I could just keep spamming my arts and stuff, so yeah, I guess that's what I'll do. Come on, everyone get their two arts real quick. All right, Reyes everyone's arch going and let's see 100 200k I'm, I'm almost nuking this guy 24 seconds in this team is crazy crazy 300k i saw and yeah 27 seconds that's insane i just remembered that i haven't really been looking at the damage so let's see this damage so emperor he did the most vox right behind draken third reyes last yeah well that was the showcase of emperor honestly all i really did was go around nuking everything with him probably one of the best units and he does what six arshgen for 15 seconds when you compare that to someone like juno uh, let's see how much Juno does. Pretty sure still more. Yeah, 7 for 15 seconds. Still one more than Emperor, but Emperor, seeing as he isn't, he doesn't have to enter any, like, state or Magia Drive type thing, and you're instantly able to use his true arts. I'd say he's the better unit. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be uploading two times per week now, so that's pretty cool. Have a good day, and peace. <laughs>